Okay. Looks so, good. Sorry? Looks good. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the observer. The observer is, um, what we're doing with the observer is, we're going to do an exercise whereby we're going to that which is witnessing or observing all things that can pass. So the first thing we're going to do, uh, you may not, I mean, of course, if there's no identification with any of the things we're talking about, then you don't need to do any of the exercises, but thoughts. Now thoughts, and we're going to do, we're going to use the simple thing of the mug as usual. So like if, if I was holding this mug, the mug is an object, you know, mug can pass, or it can be here or not be here, it's an object. It's a, and in the way I was moving it, it was a passing object. So the observer of the mug is not the mug. The witnesser of the mug is not the mug. And there is what I'd call detached witnessing or observing of the mug. So that's very, uh, for most people, that's very easy to do because most people find mugs quite meaningless. And so there's no inherent attachment there's no great investment in mugs, and so it's clear that there is detached witnessing of the mug as an object that's passing by. The next thing to get familiar with is what thoughts. Now, thoughts are passing by in consciousness. You know, like uh, a thought may pass by the sky is blue, or the clouds are grey, whatever they are. But They're like discrete objects which are passing by. So that which is observing the thoughts. Is there, is there awareness of that which is observing thoughts, but which is not thoughts? So that's the first thing. And if, if there seems to be no observing of the thoughts, then the question to ask then, is there a detached observer? You know, what am I? If it feels like I am my thoughts, but what, what are, in what are these thoughts arising? So what is picking up the awareness of thoughts passing by? Is there, an, is there a witness or an observer that watches the pass, thoughts pass by? And if there is that experience of an observing of the thoughts passing, does this observer have any relationship with the thoughts? Uh, is it like an interested observer, which is trying to hook into the thoughts that pass by? And if it's an interested observer, is there a witness or an observer which is uninterested in the thoughts that pass by? So C, does a space open up? Is there an observer or witnesser that has no interest or investment or interest in thoughts? Almost as if the thoughts are meaningless or uninteresting, that doesn't register them or even pick them up. Next thing is the body. If there's any awareness of the physical body, of the location of the body, or of any, uh, any sensations within the body, that can be used as like an object. If there's an awareness of the height or the width or any heaviness in the body, and that can be like a location. But what is observing, what's witnessing the awareness or the shape of the body? Is that which is aware of the shape or which is observing or witnessing the body has that got any relationship with the body? That which isn't the knower of the body. And if the knower of the body seems to be interested or hooking into the body, is there a witnessing or an observing or an aspect of consciousness which is not registering or identified or hooking into the body, which has no interest in the body? And if there's any awareness of this, is there any experience of the body? Next thing is time. Is there any sense of time, of seconds passing, or of time occurring? And if there is, is there a witnesser, or is there an aspect of consciousness, or is there an observer which is not interested in time? And in the observing of time, does time exist in that which witnesses time? Also, is there any awareness now of location? of location in this room. And if a location is like a limited location in the room, but then is there anything that witnesses or observes location? Is there, is there a knower of location? Is there a witnesser of location? Is the witnesser or the knower of location interested in location? 
is there a witnesser or a knower which is not interested in location? So in this experience, is that which has no, which is not hooked in or interested in location, does location exist in that? Is there any experience of location in that which it witnesses? Or is the observer or the awareness of location, does location exist in that? As a so we have time, we have the body, we have thoughts, images, like pictures or images may flip through consciousness. But a picture is like an object that comes and goes. But is that in which pictures come and go? Is that a picture? Is the witnesser or the observer of pictures a picture? In so in this we find out whether the the witnesser or the observer or that aspect of consciousness has any anything that can pass within it like time or thought or body or location does it have anything of limitation and if there's any experience of limitation then what is observing or witnessing or registering the limitation and that which is picking up the limitation, does there any limitation exist in that?